good afternoon students today we study about unit 3 topic floors floors topic 1 ground and upper floors now we first discuss about definition about floors floors are the horizontal element of a building structure which divide building into different level for the purpose of creating more accommodation within the restricted space one above the other and also provide support to the occupants furniture and equipments of a building means floor are the horizontal elements of a structure in our daily life we all see about see the floor in a structure in every structure the floor is necessary in which we laid the instrument or elements etc now which divide the building into different level for the purpose of creating more accommodation means that is the floor are divided into different types that is the ground level first floor second floor in which all floors are necessary the uh, with the restricted space one above the other and also provide support to the occupants furnitures and equipment of a building floors are the element in which the furniture equipment of building occupants are are supported okay now next discuss uh, discuss about the characteristics of a good flooring it should be durable means it should be long lasting okay it should be uh, easy to clean means the floor is in such a way that we should easy to clean noiseless and have a good appearance the floor should look good appearance the appearance should be good now next free from dampness dampness means moisture or humidity it should be free from humidity fire resistant it should be resist the floor should be such a way that it should be resist to the fire low maintenance cost means maintenance the maintenance cost should be low properties of a floor properties in properties strength and stability the strength and stability should be good and fire resistant that it should be resist from fire damp resistance means it should be resist from humidity or weathering action or wetness etc thermal insulation it should be uh, insulated thermal insulated and sound resistance the floor should be sound resistance that is noiseless then types of floors there are different types of floors first of all basement floor ground floor and upper floor basement uh, basement means the base okay basement floors basement floors the construction of a floor below the ground surface is known as basement floor the construction of floor below the ground surface means uh, the floor is constructed and below the ground surface is known as basement floor the base level is known as basement floor ground floor means the base upper la layer of base floor that is the floor resisting directly on the ground surface are known as ground floor that is it should be upper from base floor and then the floor resist directly on ground is known as ground floor and upper floors are the upper upper layer the upper floor have the major problem of strength and durability tassins they are supported only of at their end on wall beams etc the upper floors are the floors like we stand we sit and the instrument and the objects are laid directly on the upper floors and they are supported at their ends on walls beams etc that's why there are the major problem of strength and durability occur on the upper floor upper floor do not have problem of damp resistance it should not have any problem of damp resistance like humidity wetness etc and type of flooring there are different type of flooring like tiles flooring vinyl flooring granite marble concrete terrazzo oxide flooring stone mud and brick there are different type of the flooring and uh, concrete flooring and uh, brick flooring are important and so next is brick flooring brick flooring are cheap for cheap construction the brick flooring are used in a uh, in uh, used in a area like um, urban area it should be used very 
common in urban area for cheap construction commonly provided in warehouse stores go down or in the place where heavy articles are stored it should be used most commonly in go downs or in the heavy article or storage area it should be used and well burned brick of uniform shape are used for brick flooring the brick should be of uh, first class brick are used for the brick flooring and it should be properly burnt and are of a uniform shape and laid either on edge or in herring bone and laid either on edge means edge means brick brick properly laid on their edge means corner or in herring edge herring herring bone means this shape triangular shape and brick are laid in this shape properly and or at the right angle or any other good looking fashion bricks are laid properly and uh, it should be look attractive in uh, attractive and uh, we should placed in any angles that is right angle or herring bone fashion or edge and, and in such a way we laid brick properly method of preparing the base course varying from base to base method of preparing base course means brick are laying in this type okay and header and footer we already discussed in above chapter means this are of the header and this are footer okay now other layer are in such a way other layer of brick are placed okay so method of preparing the base course varies from base to base okay base should be of uniform shape and merits it is durable and sufficiently hard okay it should be durable means it should be long lasting or it should be sufficiently hard it is cheaper than the concrete cement concrete obviously it is cheaper than cement and concrete because there is no cost of any cement con uh, cement aggregate etc it should be non slippery obviously it should be non slippery because uh, obviously it should be non slippery because the for the surface of brick you already know that the uh, brick are in inside in center of brick there is known as the frog frog are there which is a bonding element so it is non slippery that's why it's a non slippery it is easy repairable obviously it should be easily repairable if any crack occur in a brick then we should easily repair the front then the now we should easily repair the brick cement concrete now next topic is cement concrete flooring which is very important topic in this Uh, chapter and it is mostly occur cement concrete flooring characteristics used it is used in residential commercial and industrial building we all seen the cement concrete flooring very commonly it is used very commonly in residential commercial and industrial building it is cheap durable and easy to construct free from corrosion cement concrete flooring is free from corrosion hardens with age it it hardens with age okay and porous and high tendency to shrink okay it is porous in nature and has tendency to shrink it has two component base concrete topping and bearing surface methods there are two methods for there are two methods for cement concrete flooring which is monolithically or non monolithically okay monolithically first of all discuss we discuss about monolithically monolithically means topping is laid immediately 1 to 4 hours after the base means the uh, topping area topping of a good floor is laid immediately after 1 to 4 hours after the base it is very fast process monolithic process is very fast process advantages good bonding between two composition it occur a uh, good bonding between two composition topping with a smaller thickness of 25 mm means the topping is laid that is the cement concrete paste is laid in 25 mm and its disadvantages all of us also there which is topping damage due to subsequent process topping is damaged why topping is damaged because the hour is 1 to 4 hour in the in which the hair cracks also occur or work process is slow obviously work process is slow and hair cracks occur due to uh, due to not proper bonding because the bonding is occur in 1 to 4 hour in which they proper they are not properly set in those time okay so monolithically is not always good for some time and uh, on the other hand non monolithically process 
द टॉपिंग इज डन आफ्टर हार्डनिंग द बेस इन विच इन मोनोलिथिकली प्रोसेस टॉपिंग इज डन आफ्टर हार्डनिंग द बेस इट इज अ गुड प्रोसेस इन विच द हार्डनिंग इज डन बिफोर इन विच हार्डनिंग द बेस इज डन एंड देन टॉपिंग इज डन क्लीनिंग एंड क्यूरिंग ऑफ बेस इज डन द बेस इज रब्ड विथ वायर ब्रश okay after topping the cleaning and curing of base is done the base is rubbed with wire brush topping laid in a rectangular or a square panel by use of by use of glass or plain asbestos strips in non monolithically process topping is done in a rectangular or a square panel by use of glass or plain asbestos strips the panel size is 1 cross 1 meter 2 cross 2 meter 1 cross 2 meter in which different panels are there in which toppings are done topping ratio is 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 is cement concrete cement sand and aggregate process and uh, this is the, the ratio is 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 and up to the 40 mm thickness aggregate size is taken is 20 mm alternate panel are laid first alternate panels are laid first and concrete is spread evenly with the floors cream of concrete comes at the top dekho non in non in non monolithically process there are the different panels are there in such a way that is a rectangular or a square uh, whatever we need you know rectangular or square pattern in which the concreting is done in a different way alternate panels are laid first and then concrete is is, uh, is spread evenly with floors cream of concrete comes at the top you know concrete is laid evenly and then other alternate layer are laid after 72 hours means 3 days uh, 72 hour means 3 days the alternate other alternate layer are the after 72 hours means that the base are properly hard and then other layer are put uh, protect from the sun fall sun rainfall and other damages for 12 to 20 hours obviously the sun uh, sun rainfall damages are occur ha na to protect we should uh, need to protect the all those from the from our concrete so uh, we uh, for 12 to for 12 to 20 hours because uh, because concrete need times to set and And, uh, we need a proper equipment or a proper uh, shed provide to the our area for 12 to 20 hours surface is squared for 7 to 14 days surface is squared for 7 to 14 days with the help of water or gunny bags we properly cover it for 7 to 14 days to provide a strength and advantages advantages less crack obviously for um, uh, it should take a uh, more time or more time for curing more time for setting that's why it occur less crack and work progress work progress is fast and disadvantage is have to wait for hardening the base concrete now the more the visa the, the disadvantage of non monolithically process is for hardening uh, for hardening of base concrete it's took more time as compared to monolithic process but non monolithic process is more sub more good or more successful than monolithic process and last topic is granolithic finish granolithic finish in the, for industrial building granolithic finish is rich concrete for very hard tough quality of coarse aggregate it is a coarse aggregate granolithic means it is coarse aggregate which should be of hard quality of coarse aggregate and that is granite ballast quartzites etc it should be a hard concrete which should be used in a industrial building and then it should be graded from 13 mm or to 13 mm mm 240 number is sieve concrete mixture proportion is 1 ratio 1 ratio 2 to 1 ratio 1 ratio 3 that is cement sand and aggregate proportion it is also cement sand and aggregate for heavy duty floors public building for public building granolithic finish should concrete should be a proportion of 1 ratio 2 ratio 3 thickness should be of about uh, monolithic uh, monolithic concrete that is 25 mm and it should be between in 25 to 35 mm spread of grit is 1.5 5 to 2.5 kg per meter cube grit means a concrete or a small aggregate which uh, which should be a uh, placed in 1.5 to 2.5 kg per meter cube is spread then granolithic what is the uses of granolithic finish granolithic finish used in the application where a sound consistent hard wearing yet inexpensive surface is required for example service corridors warehouse plant room power station etc power station or a uh, 
स्टेशन वी सी द फ्लोर्स आर ग्रैनोलिथिक एंड वेट लिफ्टिंग एरियाज एट्सेट्रा इन अ पावर स्टेशन मैनी ऑफ मैनी ऑफ पर्सन एंड कैरी बैग्स एट्सेट्रा आर स्टोर्ड आर लिफ्टिंग दैट्स वाई अ ग्रैनोलिथिक फिनिश आर देयर इन विच वेट लिफ्टिंग एरियाज और प्लांट और सर्विस कॉरिडोर वेयर हाउस इट इज नॉट नॉर्मली यूज इन अ होम एंड इट इज जनरली यूज इन अ पावर स्टेशन ओके एंड नाउ लास्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच ऑलमोस्ट एवरी टाइम आस्क इन सी एस बी टू एग्जाम इज एक्सप्लेन द मैथड ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट कंस्ट्रक्टिंग सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट फ्लोरिंग वॉट इज द यूजेस ऑफ ग्रेनोलिथिक फिनिश इन विच वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्टिंग सीमेंट कॉन्क्रीट फ्लोरिंग एंड यूजेस ऑफ ग्रेनोलिथिक फिनिश फिनिश वी ऑल explain above and should read thank you